Okay, Dead Tone. This is about a game called 75 where you call somebody and you kind of lie to them for 75 seconds and try to get them to believe what you're saying and you hang up on them. When they were younger they tried this and they called somebody by accident who ended up being a serial killer who showed up and killed them and butchered most of the people who were there. Flash forward to they're now in college doing the same thing at a posh house in the middle of nowhere and the same thing happens again. You know, the kills are different. This is a slash with an axe. So he decapitates quite a few people. And as long as the decapitations are, the head looks decent, but then they cut back to where the neck is. One, a guy gets decapitated inside a pool, and it looks like his, his neck area, as opposed to having, you know, muscle and sinew and bone and everything else, he looks kind of like it's just bumbly hair gel. Looks kind of bad. You know, it's it's another one of those generic sort of slasher films where they take the basic idea of, well, how this slash should be different. Oh, you know, you made a phone call and this dude is pissed and starts killing you. Oh, okay. The cast of characters is stock. You know, nothing severe. Right? That if you want to see a good slasher film, ironically, I probably think Cabin in the Woods would be more enjoyable than this one. It's not bad. It does have Rutger Hauer, who has about as much screen time as me saying, and Rutger Hauer's in it. You know, not a not a horrible slasher. You know, some moments are kind of decent. You know, they try to throw in a little more humor into it by trying to have the characters have more, more interactions with each other. But at the end of the day, it just really feels like a stock slasher. Just, if you call a guy star six, seven, and then prank call him, to then have it lead to a slasher coming and killing everybody.